welcome to the end of another week. There are three key things I'd just like to update you on today. The first is regarding some of the measures we're taking in school to keep everybody safe and face coverings. The second is with regards to reporting any absences for your child. And the third and final thing I'd like to speak to you about today is to do with um, remote learning and access to IT and some of our communication platforms. So firstly, a huge thank you to all of you in supporting us in keeping our students, staff, whole school and wider community safe at this challenging time. As you are aware, two weeks ago, we introduced the wearing of uh, face coverings within the school building um, when students and staff move around the building and they remain on until students are sat within their lessons in the classrooms. Thank you to everybody who's supported this. We have still got a number of students who are not necessarily bringing their own face coverings from home and I would urge you to make sure that students have this as part of their daily equipment. Where students are using disposable face coverings, it's important that they don't reuse these um, and that they are disposed of safely in bins at home. Moving on to uh, talk about reporting absence, it's absolutely critical and part of our safeguarding, a key part of our safeguarding, that if your child is to be absent from school, that you report their absence on a daily basis. The only exceptions to this are if we have sent your child home to isolate for a period of time as part of a group within school. But in all other cases, it's really essential that you contact the school each day that your child is absent so that we know and can account for them and that all of our students are safe. And the final thing that I'd like to talk to you about is just with regards to some of the technology that we're using to support learning. Firstly, um, we have launched Microsoft Teams across the school and all students should now either have access and be able to log in or certainly year eight and nine students, you should receive your logins through the post um, imminently. It's really important that all students um, try and make sure that they can gain that access remotely from home on whichever device is easiest um, and if there are any problems to let us know. We have surveyed all of our students in school this week to ascertain what access uh, students have to IT for either completing homework or if they need to uh, work remotely for a period of time um, in isolation. If you've got any further concerns regarding access, please do get in touch with us. In addition to using Teams as a platform for learning, we are also um, launching class charts in school at the moment and your child will receive their access uh, at the start of next week and will then follow that up with parent access. As a parent, you will be able to download the class charts app and you will be able to see what homework has been set for your child and whether they've completed that homework. And in time, you will also be able to access the platform to review uh, your child's behaviour, where we will be able to reward all of our students for positive behaviour. And also, if there are any unfortunately negative behaviour choices, you will be able to see those and keep a track of those too. So a really, really key communication tool. So just to recap, um, thank you for your support with face coverings so far. If you could please make sure that all students have one preferably a reusable one that can be washed at home and stored in a sealed plastic bag. Secondly, if your child for whatever reason is absent from school, it's absolutely critical that you report that to us daily. And finally, look out for the access and logins for Teams and check that your child can access this. And again, look out for the launch of class charts. I hope that you and your families have a restful and safe weekend and we look forward to another exciting week ahead. Thank you.